to the internal capsule itself, which is the most important component of the projection fibers. During the fifth week of intrauterine life, a swelling appears on the lateral wall of the stelencephalic vesicle, and this is referred to as the striatal eminence. When the internal capsule fibers are descending down, developing, they split the striatal eminence into two components, a medial part and a lateral part. So this is the de descending internal capsule fibers, and this medial part of the striatal eminence comes to be known as the caudate nucleus, and the lateral part of the striatal eminence comes to be known as the lentiform nucleus, or more specifically, the putamen, and the two together is referred to as the striatum. And finally, the, the descending internal capsule fibers, they descend down to the subcortical structures lateral to the thalamus. So this is a quick overview of the development of the internal capsule. As the internal capsule fibers are descending down, this picture shows how it splits the caudate nucleus from the putamen through these striated structures here. And this is the reason why these two structures together are referred to as the striatum. So in simple terms, the word striatum refers to the caudate nucleus and putamen together. And this striated appearance is the place where the fibers of the internal capsule are descending down. This is another picture to show you how the corona radiator fibers, they converge in the region of the basal ganglia to form the internal capsule. And this structure that we see here, this is the putamen or the lentiform nucleus. And this structure is the caudate nucleus. Now what we shall do, we shall take an axial section to the brain, through the brain to understand exactly the structure, the orientation of the internal capsule. And for that, we will take an imaginary line, an axial or transverse section through the brain at this level, which I shall show you in the next slide.